I just want to give you a little demonstration of uh, ceramic capacitors, how they be are microphonic. And I got a few examples here. I was playing around and I thought, you know, I'd turn the camera on and show you why ceramic capacitors are not the best for RF circuits. Uh, are they, they are good because they are uh, they don't leak and they're relatively stable with temperature um, if you get the high quality ones, but they're not they're not very good with uh, microphonics as they are like a film capacitor would be. So uh, just got it powered up and I'm feeding it a signal at 89 megahertz and I got it tuned to 89 megahertz so I'm picking up the signal from the frequency generator and I'll turn up the volume on the amplifier to about half volume and you can hear the tone coming through and uh, just take a screwdriver and tap some of these ceramic disc capacitors and you'll soon see especially when you get to the tuning circuits what I mean you hear that one? let me zoom in a little bit so you can see better so we got this one here I'll use a plastic tool so I don't short anything that one's not bad that's the one I replaced that one that's the worst one of all of them so you can see the tap the coil it doesn't do much this one's bad One under here, I can't reach. And that is in the uh, oscillator tuning circuit. So you can hear that. And then you get microphonics on your tubes too. Let's try some of them. But it's hard to tell when you're banging on a steel chassis. That trimmer capacitor is a bad one. So yeah, just a little demonstration there.